the space of one human lifetime, indeed, in the space of my lifetime, all that has changed. The Holocene has ended. The Garden of Eden is no more. What we do now and in the next few years will profoundly affect the next few thousand years. The only conditions modern humans have ever known so far are changing, and changing fast. As it begins to run out of fuel, its core will collapse. The fate of the sun is the same as for all stars. One day, they must all eventually die and the cosmos will be plunged into eternal night. All stars eventually will run out of fuel. The temperature of the universe drops, so the stars, one by one, in the night sky will turn off and there'll be no more new stars created. And so that the universe will end not with a bang, but with a whimper. And not in fire, but in ice.
A black dwarf will be the final fate of those last stars. White dwarfs that have become so cold that they barely emit any more heat or light. Black dwarfs are dark, dense, decaying balls of degenerate matter, little more than the ashes of stars. Their constituent atoms are so severely crushed that black dwarfs are a million times denser than our sun. Stars take so long to reach this point, we believe there are currently no black dwarfs in the universe. We can create a world with clean air and water, unlimited energy, and fish stocks that will sustain us well into the future. But to do that, we need 